Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, I will teach you or show you how to set up PPPoE server, PPPoE client, and bandwidth limit to users. And we're gonna test it later if it's working. Just follow me guys. So now, let's start. By the way, guys, here's an example diagram. For this video tutorial, I'm gonna use my Microtic Hap Light. From my Microtic Hap Light Ethernet port 1 to my ISP or Wi Fi modem. From Ethernet port 4 to gigabit switch to computer clients, which is where we set up our PPPoE server. We will set two profiles and set a bandwidth limit for these two clients. I will reset my Microtic router to remove my previous configuration. Okay, I'm gonna log in again and let's start the configuration. You can remove this default configuration, if you want. But for this video, I'm not going to remove it. To make this video tutorial easy and quick. Set a strong login password if you reset, or after you reset your Microtic router. Let's go to bridge settings. I'm gonna add a bridge for my PPPoE setup. Then go to ports. I'm gonna select Ether 4 to bridge PPPoE. Click Apply, then OK. Go to Interfaces setting. Under Interfaces, select the interface list. Then add a new interface list member. Click Apply, and OK, once you're done. Now let's check the DHCP clients. If you don't remove the default configuration of your Microtic router, you should have this. If you don't have one, just add and copy the following. Once you're done, just click Apply, and OK. Now, let's go to DNS. That's also under the IP setting. I'm gonna set up Google DNS here.
Then allow remote requests. Once you're done, just click apply. And OK. Let's go to the firewall. You need to remove this fast track if you are using the default config. In order to work the queues, our bandwidth limit that we are going to set later to our clients. Then go to NAT. You should have this if you don't remove the default config. If you don't have one, just click the add icon and copy the setting. Once you're done, just click apply and OK. Now, let's check if our router has an internet connection. Here it is guys, we have the internet. Now, let's set IP pool for our Microtic PPPoE clients. I'm gonna put this IP address as a sample. Once you're done, just click apply and click OK. Now, we have IP pool on our Microtic PPPoE clients. Let's set total bandwidth on our PPPoE. You can set any total bandwidth here, as you want. For me, I'm gonna set 10 Mbps only for upload and download net speed. Once you're done, just click apply and OK. Now, go to the PPP setting. Under PPP, select PPPoE servers, click add, then select the following. Once you're done, just click apply again, and OK. Go to profiles now. Click the icon add. In general, I'm gonna enter my profile name.
2 Mbps. Enter the local address. And enter the remote address. Here, I'm gonna enter Google DNS. In protocol, in use encryption, select yes. In limits, you can select here your desired internet speed for your clients. For me, I'm gonna set 2 Mbps only for client 1 as an example. Then in the queue, click the parent queue, select now the PPPoE total bandwidth. Click apply. Then click OK. I'm gonna make a second profile, for my client too. For this time, I'm gonna make 4 Mbps internet speed, as a sample. Now that we have two profiles, as needed in this video tutorial, you can add more, if you want. Go to Secrets now. Click the Add icon, you can enter here your desired username and password for your user, or clients. For this video, I'm gonna enter Client1 for username and password. In service, select PPPoE. In profile, select the profile list you created. Mine is 2 Mbps for this client 1. Okay, I'm gonna add another for my second user, or second client. In service, select PPPoE. In profile, select the profile list you created. Mine is 4 Mbps for this client too. Click apply and click OK. Now, let's check the PPPoE we set up if it's working. I'm gonna transfer my connection to Ether4 or port 4 of my Microtic router.
First, I'm gonna connect with my client 1, which is the 2 Mbps profile. Here it is guys, it's working. Here's the IP address that we set in the Microtic PPPoE setup. Now, let's do a speed test. Here it is friends, also the bandwidth limit per client is also working. Now, let's try the client too. It's also working friends. That's it for this video guys. If you like this video, please, do not forget to like, share and subscribe.